I, I've sold a, a good amount to me. Like I said, there's different amounts. How right? many? Stay in your lane. Wait, anyway, what's I'm, her, just, like I'm, I was just, telling I'm you, just curious. I don't even worry about her over there. So she's a reporter. Her job is to probe. She can report to whoever she want behind her. What's, I'm talking I, what is, to you, Colin. Well, what's your, what is your problem with me? Hey, my problem is you are a hater. Why are you I a would hater? never wear a big baller shirt. Well, no, good. I didn't don't say even that. talk to big ball. I heard you say I'm not even worried I, about it. I said that I wouldn't wear something that it like says a woman. big baller. It's the same thing. Yeah. With I, all due respect, I, you're a great reporter, just not reporting on me. And going back to Whitlock, I don't think he can comment on anything but snacks. Now, wow. that's a little harsh. It's going to be harsh because he want to be harsh so on me. So you disrespect Guess what? women on, and people uh, for their no, weight? No, that's what you say. I didn't say nothing about no, no weight. No, you just said that to me. Like I told her, I'm not even worried about you right now. Keep in your lane. Can you look like me I in the said, eye? She can say what she want. She, she's trying to put it. I never disrespect women. But I tell you what, you if, you act, if you act like that, guess what? Something's coming to you. Oh. And it's okay. Do you do you think? Are you wait? Are you threatening me? Oh, see, I see. Try to turn the words. I would never threaten you. You said something's coming to me. I don't know what it is. I'm not a psychic. All right, Colin, you've had some time to process it. What do you think of Lavar's appearance on your show? Well, I think I think sportscasters are like athletes. Like when it gets hot, Joe Buck's really good in Game Seven. Today it got hot on the show, and Christine did what a great sportscaster would do. She probed and pushed. This is why Christine's a great teammate, is that LeVar Ball comes, he's a little bit of a circus. His good days and bad days. And today went over a line. And today was disrespectful. And what Christine did is what Christine should have done. Um, he wouldn't look her in the eye. I thought he was going to be initially playful, because he always is. And then I thought he, he verged into inappropriate. And my takeaway was, this is why Christine's great. Because Christine said, and by the way, write down what she asked. Look me in the eye. These are legitimate human responses, and they're responses that anybody should want. Look me in the eye. I did think he made a threat. I, didn't, it was, I don't know what he was yep. threatening, but I thought he was inappropriate. I thought he crossed a line, and I think Christine, as she's done since I've known her, is a great reporter, doesn't back down from anybody, and called him on his BS. I, I think this was everything I've been feeling about LeVar Ball. He's bad for his son. He's bad for business. He's well out over his skis. I thought he was clearly disrespectful. The, the line of stay in your lane, keep in your lane, that to me sounds like stay in the kitchen. That to me sounds like the epitome of sexism, not looking someone in the eyes. As an African-American, if I were treated like that by someone, I would immediately go to, oh, they treated me in a racist fashion. They're dismissing me. I'm unworthy of engaging in a right. conversation with them. LeVar Ball out of line today. Christine, I thought you were great. LeVar Ball clearly out of line. LeVar Ball has every right to disagree with anything that I say, anything that any of us say. I really enjoy debate. I just like it to be respectful. You and I debate. We debate all the time. It's what we do here. But we do it in a respectful way. We don't threaten each other. We don't dismiss each other. We look each other in the eye. We don't make personal attacks about weight. I asked him a question. That is my job as a reporter. And he came back at me in a very dismissive and inappropriate way. So I had two choices. I could either sit back and take it, or I could stand up for myself and talk to him, still with complete respect. And for the record, I've actually supported him being such a strong voice for his son. And, and we talk more about his son than anyone else because of what he's done for him. He goes on lots of shows. He has this, you know, kind of shtick about him where he's outspoken. But with that comes room for being criticized by the media. That's our jobs. And what he's upset at me for is something that I said a few weeks ago on the show that you know, when he was getting turned down from Under Armour, Nike, and Adidas for these partnerships, I said, if he wants to think like a mogul and work with these companies, he has to look at what they do, and that's that they market to women. You know, women are the people buying their son's shoes. They make up more than half of sales for these types of brands. So he has to think like that if he wants to be this big mogul. So he was upset at me for what I said there, and that's completely fine. But you can't come at me and disrespect me and not look me in, me in the eye and threaten me. That's just not OK. Yeah, I mean, as you said, the threat, and you got the hand gesture, stay in your lane, not just stay in your lane, yeah. but showing you the hand, you know. Obviously, that stuff was disrespectful and not looking you in the eye. And this is something that we have to deal with. I thought you handled it well. 
Um, but as critics, you know, is what we are, everybody's not going to like what we say. And we have to be prepared that when you encounter that person, whether it's in the studio, whether it's in a locker room, whether it's at a game. When I first encountered Met LeVar, I went to a UCLA game, and I went up to him, and he was like, oh, you on my list, you on my list. I heard what you've been saying. You have to deal with it. I've dealt with it with Stephon Marbury, DeMarcus Cousins. Yeah. We have run-ins. And I understand, while I'm a professional and I'm, I have to be used to taking the criticism, sometimes I understand your average person, a LeVar Ball, a player, a young player, is not going to understand that's their job. My that's what they do. So sometimes they're going to come at us and we have to be ready to handle it in a professional it, way. It was funny because when I, I don't know, really know who my guests are until about the morning meeting. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know who's coming on the show. Mm -hmm. And when I was told it was LeVar, it's hard for me to reconcile because I thought today he was newsworthy. Without question. Yeah, so, like, I, there's, part, there's parts of me that I, when I hear LeVar, I think, okay, I don't want to sensationalize him, but I did think, because I'd already had him on once. I thought, actually, I kind of, I do care today what he had to say. Yes, yes. And, and so the first seven, eight minutes were basketball. And he was actually really good in the basketball stuff. Except for the Michael Jordan. Yeah, he's off the this. track. Oh. <laughs> um, what, what bothered me most of all um, is I thought it was initially playful. But I didn't, what, one thing I think that we have to be mindful of is men are physically imposing in our society. I, I didn't, the threat part, like, that's where Christine, I thought, had a real right to say, Whoa, 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 whoa. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. And he did it twice. Yeah. He denied that, it and then did That it is clearly crossing a line. And as men sometimes, you can make jokes. We have, we have generally been bigger. So a threat, even if it's playful, from a man to a woman is completely inappropriate, in my opinion. Well, well I think I, everybody's opinion. I want to be clear on this. His snacks joke about me. I happen to believe completely appropriate. I play rough. I crack jokes on people. I don't get upset when people crack jokes on me. I crack jokes on myself. I, I thought his behavior towards me fit with my persona and how I conduct myself on this show and with people. LeVar Ball and I are about the same age. We're cut from a lot of the same cloth. Fall, but, but with Christ but the Christi One, Christine doesn't carry herself on these shows the way that I do. That's one. And then two, but again, I don't think he would be, I don't think he would come on any show and tell me, put his hands up and tell me to stay in my lane. That was clearly directed well, he at might, her gender. I, he's shown that he, he I, I think he's know. shown but he'll go at I am not a mean-spirited person. I'm just a very opinionated person. And I think a lot of people, unfortunately, still have a problem with opinionated women. No. Or, 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 but, but, but I think opinionists in general, we have to, it doesn't mean we're wrong. We're stating our opinion. But, but when the player or a person doesn't like it, but I they thought, may very well come back at But I did feel, and I, I didn't feel it initially, but I agree with Christine. I felt by the end of it, it felt like I'm a guy, I don't care about a, a female who, opinion. That bothers me. This is a guy who's um, called people losers who can't afford his shoes. He's made weight jokes, and now he did what he just did today. I understand that this was a big thing for him and we were all talking about him and it was almost kind of a funny game, sort of. At this point, it's not. It's not. And I would actually love to have him back on the show and a lot of people are saying we should never have him on again. I would love to if he would like to come and look me in the eye and talk to me as a person and he can disagree with everything that I say. But let's do it man to man. <laughs>